Hey guys, welcome back to the X-Ring. So in today's episode, I want to review a new product by a company called Leica. One of the beauties of my job is I'm able to work with major manufacturers and do beta testing well before the product has actually been released to the public. And I was able to get this about two months ago. It is a Leica rangefinder. And they do have rangefinders that look just like this. Aesthetically, there's no difference. However, this is the new CRF rangemaster2800.com. It does have the ability or the capability of hitting or ranging targets out to 2,800 yards, but so do a lot of other rangefinders. But what's really cool about this, not only does it have temperature and barometric pressure and inclinometer, it also has Bluetooth. So what that means is if I have a Kestrel, like this 5,800, or 5700 Elite with Bluetooth, I can literally let the Bluetooth sync, and as soon as I laser the target, I have the solution here on my Kestrel. I'll show you guys how that works here in just a second. So guys, stay tuned. If you haven't ever used Leica products, check them out. Some of the best in the business and some of the best class in the world. So today is gonna to be about precision rifle shooting and some of the equipment uh, that you'd wanna use. And uh, I'm all about great glass. You know, Not only does great glass work well on your rifles, but having good glass for your spotting scope and your range finders make all the difference in the world. So what makes this different is Leica's had range finders and they've had their ballistic software program, but it's their own proprietary software. Now, without, you know, making it sound bad on Leica, their ballistic curves cover about everything, but it was never exact enough. And even though you can go in and set in custom curves, it never would quite match up with some of my 6.5s or some of my other rifles that I had. It was close, but not good enough for what I was trying to do. So they've come out with this new range finder. And what's really cool about it is it has Bluetooth. And so I can pair it directly up to my Kestrel and so if I go out somewhere, and if you guys that follow my channel, you remember when I was reviewing the Christensen Arms, there was a little black bag on the top of the, um, on the tube there. Well, what I did was, is I had my Kestrel on, I went ahead and spun it up to get my environmentals. And all I did was I hit that target, and as soon as I hit that target, it told me 520 yards, and there was my solution right there. I had it instantly. Uh, one of the things I wish it did, um, I wish I could download profiles from the Kestrel directly into this. That way it would have that exact rifle in here. It's not there yet. Uh, I don't know if it's going to go there, but that was one of my recommendations is being able to have that that way. It will read it and you can integrate it with your iPhone or your Android where you've got um, basically their own Leica app and you can see that information in there. But like I said, less is more. So I don't want to keep track of three devices. It's just like Kestrel Ballistics. It's great for importing and exporting, but I don't really use the phone app for anything. It's usually going to be this right here and I'm not really doing anything other than doing my profiles on the phone and exporting them. So that was my recommendation for this. So let's talk about how this works and would make you faster. All right, guys, so let's say you're in a two-man team competition or even if you're by yourself and you have a target at unknown distance. Now, let's say it's not one of these stages or one of these courses where they're gonna tell you your ranges at first. Uh, we'll call it a blind stage. So let's say you're packing it or humping it and you come up on the uh, RO and the RO is gonna tell you, all right, so you're gonna be up in a couple minutes. You've got five targets to engage. So as soon as they say go, you're gonna go, you're gonna go to the shooting area and you're gonna have to search and find five objects or five targets. Well, what you've usually got to do now, I always recommend keeping a dope chart on your rifle, but at these further distances, especially on smaller targets, close isn't going to cut it. Okay. So doing 50 yard increments on your range card or 25 yard increments on your range card might be the difference between a hit or a miss if it's a half or a one MOA target. So this right here is going to get you a lot closer because I can make my step increments a lot closer. So Let's say you go out there, you're just getting into this, you're gonna take your range finder and you're gonna hit it. And it's gonna say 520 yards. And then you're gonna to have to go to your Kestrel and you're gonna to have to find 520 yards. And then you're gonna to have to write that solution down that the Kestrel gives you. Now you're gonna go and either shoot that target or you're going to range the next target. And you're gonna keep going in succession like that. Or if you're working in teams, maybe one guy's got this equipment and then you've got the guy on the rifle and you're gonna be conveying that information to him. What's really nice about this is he doesn't have to input anything into this. Once these two are Bluetooth synced, literally, it's target one on the left, 504 yards, 3.2 mils, whatever the number is, it's instant with this. 
and so it communicates really, really well. And I'll show you that here in just a second. All right, guys, so real world experience here. Let's talk about this mountain back here. This mountain's about 700 yards at the peak from where I'm standing and six-ish down here, okay? So the last target I engaged with my Kestrel, all my profiles are in here, is 0.0. .0. You guys see that in the top left-hand corner? It's elevation, 0.00. .00. The distance was at 94 yards. Bear with me, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this and I'm gonna go ahead and try to hit the top of that mountain and you guys could see the correction. Hold on. So 752 yards, boom, there it is. 5.65 mils of elevation, you guys can see it right there. And so it's that quick, it gives you solution almost instantly. And so if you're working with a team member and he's on the ground, I can just boom, hit it and there it is, there's correction. So this is really, really cool. And like I said, I know it's like some of the other units that are already out there on the market, uh, being like the SIG Kilo and all that, but the integration and the glass and the resolution on this laser, I'm very, very impressed with it. So I just wanted to bring you guys that and let you guys see it. And guys, this thing will do everything from your slope angle to your temperature and everything. Uh, it does have a scan mode. It's just very, very clear. The glass is unbelievable, like what you would expect from Leica. You've got your battery door there that unscrews, lanyard hole here. Uh, but just a really nice, well thought out unit. I do not know the price point on this because it has not been released yet. Uh, I should be able to release this video at SHOT Show. So if you're seeing it now, then I've been given the approval to, uh, to go ahead and talk about it at least and show you guys what it's about. So hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll try to get some videos up of what it looks like from inside of the rangefinder. All right, guys. So there it is on the target. I'll hit it. 96.7 yards. Uh, let me get it closer into a dark area so you guys can see it. So we're minus 18 degrees, 69 degrees in temperature, 27.51 on the barometer. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that review. Uh, like I said, I'll be at SHOT Show next week. I believe the release for this is going to be on Wednesday of next week. So you should see this about uh, at the end of January, and I should have an idea on price point and everything else, and any changes they might have made to this based on feedback from a group of users using these for the last couple months. So guys, once again, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good day.